Sal Americo was started when I came home from living at West. I started reselling my artwork and refurbishing old furniture. Um, and then I started taking my refurbished furniture to markets, like local markets. I went to the Bolton Market, I went to the Brampton Market, but it was just kind of, I don't know, it, it was just really hard to lug around because it's so big and it was so expensive. Like, it, I was just not making it like lucrative at all. So I started bringing um, some kimonos that I had previously made um, in high school and they started selling like crazy. So after that, I kind of branched into the clothing a little bit and that was the beginning. <laughs> I'd say the similarities are very free, free-spirited and bohemian. Um, the patterns for sure are like all floral and paisley, which I incorporate in everything I do, so. <laughs> I honestly, I think the biggest moment that changed me, I was in Whistler with some friends and I was watching an ad. I go every summer to go um, skiing on the summer glacier. I was watching this ad and this girl, she was an artist and she was, she was telling her story, I guess like she was being interviewed and she was t saying how like she couldn't make her artwork a lucrative um, company or like a career I guess and she started screen printing her artworks onto like scarves and like jackets and different things so she was like she was using her creative artistic ability and she was um, making it in a way that more people like more variety so she would have more customers and I seriously like my heart dropped and I just I knew what I wanted to do I was like oh my gosh I can I can incorporate my artwork in a different way that people are like passionate and stoked about so yeah, that was definitely <laughs> that was definitely a moment I was blown away. It really changed me. My mom, for sure. <laughs> she is like me a million times. She is just like the biggest gypsy I know and everything she wears is loose and free and colorful and every time I wear something and she likes it, I no, I'm doing something right. <laughs> right now, I'm really loving plain yogurt, <laughs> berries and granola, and I'm just, I've been eating it breakfast, lunch, every day. But, I don't really have a favorite food, I don't know. I really, I really like mango a lot. <laughs> like, I could eat it. Every day. Hobbies, snowboarding. I love snowboarding. I go to the A collector. I am the biggest hoarder of clothing you will ever know or meet. It's horrible. I just got rid of seven bags of clothing that I could have used, but I just, I need to get rid of because I, it's oh, gross, it's gross, <laughs> it's really bad, but obviously I'm a hoarder of fabric as well. <laughs> In five years, I hope, <clears throat> I hope to have a full store. Um, I actually hope to have a couple stores, to be honest. I'm really, I don't know, I'm really jumping in with two feet and hoping the best. <laughs> um, I'd say my aim right now is just to be happy. I just really want to make people passionate about my clothing. Um, I really, right now, short term, I really, really want to go on a trip and just experience another culture, how they live, and uh, get to know the people. Like, I don't know where or when it's going to happen, but I know that's something I really want to do soon.
my voice. <laughs> yes, so true. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's right. Everyone that meets me, they're like, are you sick? I'm like, no, I know. It's really sad. Um, I think just putting, like, I've always been such a creative person, but I've never really known how to, like, show that to people or, like, what, what I'm going to do. I've always been so flustered of just the idea of, like, what am I going to do? Like, what am, like, am I going to have to do something that I don't want to do? Like, growing up, I was always so confused by that, and honestly, I'm just, I'm so blessed and so happy that I've just, like, I guess had an epiphany or just like kind of blossomed into this business because it seriously helped me with everything. It just like makes sense. <laughs> um, definitely when I quit my job. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing when you're doing something on the side, but as soon as you quit your job, especially a good job, had a good job. <laughs> A job you know, that's giving you money, you know, to commute to school, to um, get food, just everything from here and there, everyday tasks. When I quit my job, it was really, this is my income, this is my career, so it it was really scary, but at the same time, I'm happy I did it because it's, it's pushed me so much to pursue um, doing this as a full-time commitment. I don't know, I think, I don't think you're meant to, you know, like work an office job. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm just like such a creative person. I could, I could never see myself working in an office, like a nine to five. And I also don't think I was meant to stay in one place. I want to travel and I love traveling so much. So I'm just, I guess I'm gonna embrace being a free creative person and yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Bohem Graces. I'm Lauren Mayer, and don't forget to check out my website, lmayerco.com. Boom! <laughs> That's it. Yeah!